Hey everybody, whoever watched this video, um, we're gonna replace, so we're gonna fix what people cut the wires here. So you don't supposed to be splice this inside the walls. So for code, you don't supposed to, because you have to have access for down in the future. If you have some problems or anything like that, you will never find it. So uh, here, uh, when they cut the floor, the framer, so whoever cut the floor, they will cut the floor through and they cut our wire. Okay, so that has to be replaced. Oh, you can put a, a splice kit. The splice kit is for uh, remove a J box or Johnson box, what they call them. So I'm gonna show right here, see if you can see. This is. Uh, this is approved for uh, electrical code, for the National Electrical Code. Uh, we located in Alabama, so you guys have to check on your state, uh, see if it's approvable from uh, the National Electrical Code. So this is what you do, you see right on the bottom, eliminate a Johnson box, so you can use that. So we are about to use that one. So I'm gonna show you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you got any questions, just uh, let us know. Here we go. We're gonna do this thing. Okay. First of all, you open your box and put it in place. And uh, I got a tester. This is a, uh, I mean, tester for low voltage and stuff like that. So you gotta turn it on. It's on, and then it's gonna tell you if you got a power. Okay. If you do, I mean, right now we don't have power. I know because this is not hooked up on the breaker box yet. So this is not hot. But if you will hit hot, you will hear that. See, this wire is hot. It will start beeping, and you can see that. So right now this is not beeping. All right, we know it's hot, it's off. But always, you got to check the double. Make sure your breaker's off. And because this, I uh, will... It will shock you and you will have some problems. All right, so I'm gonna undo it, this. You guys see? This is something we don't do. So this is somebody splice that. Trying to, trying to go away with that. But this is not safe. So don't do it. If you don't know, don't do it. Don't splice it and trying to hide it because down in the road, you're gonna have some problems and you're never gonna find that problem. Okay, so I'm gonna undo it every time. Okay, that's it. Okay, okay. That's it, I'm gonna cut here. Okay, cause I don't need that. Okay. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna try to pull a little bit more slag or wire so I can have this right here, so. Okay, I'm gonna pull some slag. We just got lose my staples. Okay, I'm gonna lose my staples. Wait, you see, there's my wire. Let's go to this. This is gonna be the range hood. Right now you cannot tell because it's, everything is open. Okay, so I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just loosen my staples okay see i got a plenty so is what i'm gonna put some slag down i think it's all i need okay pulling this pulling back easy and slow so make sure you not damage your wire okay Okay, and then just see now you got enough okay now you got enough okay you tap staples not too tight just enough to hold the wire if you pull it too tight you're going to damage your wire okay we go back make sure it's good tack them up and that's good again so Okay, it's there. Okay, now, all right, we're gonna open this splice kit. 
make sure you don't lose your stuff. Okay, there's right there, you have two of those, two of these, and you got some brackets to hold the wire. And you got your screws, so make sure you don't lose them. Okay, and these, it's got a tiny letters in here that says black, white, and ground. So what I'm gonna do, see it's, got, it's hard for you guys to see, but that says right here, black. There's black. This one says green, and this is your white. I'm just gonna put a W so you guys kinda look at it. There's white, there's your black. So that's telling me the green has your neutral, your ground. Sorry, the green has your ground. They go in the metal. Here's your hot, and that's just your neutral. Your black wire, your white. So, okay, it's right there. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this piece again off. Okay, you don't have to peel the whole thing off, okay? It just, okay, there's here. What I do, just measure, put it right there. Okay, measures about one inch. Okay, you just peel it off really easy. Don't go through, it's just soft, really soft. It's like you put it on your skin. If you go hard on it, you will cut the insulation of your conductors. Okay, just easy. Don't cut yourself. I did that a couple times. So, okay, I'm gonna cut this off. All right, that's all you, that's all you need. Okay, here we go. Okay, see there's right there. You see how I have them, black, white and your ground okay so what i do i just place it there okay place it see every time is on place okay i use my pliers and kind of put a little bit in place see okay all right see how my wires in and there's no way up there all the way in the back so you have to have at least quarter of insulation. So I cut it right there where it can go through. Okay. Right there. Let's see this one I cut. Okay, it's there. And then you use your screwdriver. Okay, I'm gonna change this. Okay, that one's not working. I got the other one that's flathead. Okay, what you do just snap one at a time. Okay, you just gotta put a little pressure. Okay, it's there. Okay, okay, little pressure. Same thing on this one. Let's go there. You gotta go easy and straight down. So you don't break those little braces. It's holding the wire. See, it's there. It's good. Double check, white, ground, and a black wire. The black wire is your hat. Okay, now we got those pieces. The other piece, snap in. Okay. And you can hear when that clicks. You can hear it. Most of the time I use my pliers to double check, okay? Use my pliers to double check. Double check, maybe it's there. All right, that's it. We are gonna do the same thing on the other one. Okay, got this one here. Okay. See, we're gonna do the same thing, okay? This time I'm gonna do it with my strippers. But like I said, you can use knife and just go easy. And sometimes come kind of really easy and sometimes you have to peel it off. The last I cut you insulation real easy. Not go too aggressive. Because like I say, you will cut through the wires and there's gonna be a trouble. Okay, we get on this. All right. See, we got the same thing, okay? I'm gonna mark 
And again, my, I mean, I don't have to mark it. I just do it for you guys. So this is my white, white, and that's my black. Okay. Just mark it just for you guys to see it. So this one, I got to twist a little bit. Just to twist it, uh, turn around so that you way, way match this right here. Okay, same thing. Open it a little bit. See, it's right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Cut it just enough. You can see it's a little gap right there. So that's where your wire has to go. If you cut it too long, I will not go on the bracket, the little bracket is holding the wire. Okay, it's there. All right, I'm gonna push them down. There's one. There's the other one. Okay, and we go for the other one. All right, you see, that's how the, that looks. Here's the other piece. Let me go ahead and snap that one in. Okay, same thing. Check with your pliers. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we got one end. The other end. So now we're just gonna plug it in like a regular cord. It's got a one way. So you got this latch. You got a latch there. There we go. That latch, and that's it. Okay. Sometimes you put these brackets to hold your wire in place. Okay, when you gotta put it to the two by four or anything. So you put these to hold your wires. So, but this time I don't need to use these ones. So what I'm gonna do, just put my screws through and I'll be done. Okay, I don't know if you remember guys, I will say on the beginning of the video, we have these little tiny screws. You need a little screwdriver and then just screw it in. And just enough, not too tight. Not too loose, so that don't break off. All right. Set one more. Let turn it. Okay. And this one is for 12 gauge. 12 two. And they also have the 14 two. On this one, you can do 12 and a 14. So like I said from the beginning, you have to check on your stake, see if they require, I mean, if they approvable those. Like I said, we in Alabama, so they let us to use these. I mean, it's, up to, it's for code, for electrical national code. So that's what we're doing, so that's it. That's all you have to do, guys. Right there, that's it. Make sure it's not loose, it's not coming off. You just leave it there, and you're good to go. Uh, these parts, most of the time, you, you're gonna find these on the mobile homes, uh, on the double whites. Uh, on the double whites, they separate the one side from the other one. So when they come in and install it, the only thing they have to do is just plug in these. So you will see this on mobile homes. But that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys like it. See you.